All right, let's do this, guys. Uh, Aiden Ross and Trainwrecks discuss the downfall of Kick. I wonder if that's real, if or if it's just clickbait. Um, I'm curious. I don't know, man. Me personally, I stream on YouTube. I just like the audience. I feel like people underplay that, you know, more than anything else of like what makes a good, successful plat streaming platform. The audience. I think a lot of um, younger guys go to Kick and Twitch, and they're kind of competing with that audience. Older people like myself like YouTube. So there's more diversity in the audience. It's a little more balanced, a little more enjoyable. I still got some young men in here. Of course, I love young men. I, I love them. <laughs> now you got some young men in here. Uh, I'm kidding, obviously. And then you have like some older guys. You have some young women, some older women. It's a very diverse audience. You know, and a lot of people are here for my wife as well. It's just easier interface to deal with. That's part of it. Simple. It's also kind of all in one place. You know, you can go over videos, streams, blah, 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 blah. People enjoy that kind of stuff. So I just like that. I feel like YouTube's consistent. They don't even have to advertise themselves. It's just like a decent, consistent, solid, strong platform. Uh, Kick and Twitch, though, are kind of going at each other. And I, I wonder if Kick has taken financial losses just to try to compete with Twitch. I don't know how their finances are doing, but let's see what we got here. <clears throat> What's good? Okay, so my brother, my boy Sweater Guy got banned for a week for doxing. And the guy he doxed also doxed him. They're like in a little dox war. And he got banned for a month. The other streamer, the same exact thing. Interesting. So, I mean, the potential downfall sounds like you've attracted bad creators. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you my entire take on the entirety of Kick. Yeah. Let me tell you the problem with Kick right now. Okay. okay. Let's see what they got. The problem is we give creators an inch and all of them take a mile because of their insecurity and desperation for clout. Take that inch and take. You understand? I do. Here's the thing. Um, absolutely. Like that, that I totally understand that. That makes perfect sense. Kick is like, hey, we're going to be freer. We're going to give uh, content creators the ability to kind of do more things. And that's, by the way, it's nice. It's nice to be able to have a little less stress. You know, if I had the ability to be a less, a little bit less restricted, that would be, well, I'd be fine. I mean, I'm not really sweating what I can and can't say, to be honest with you. But I would get it. You don't have to like, oh, if you did something a little edgy, you don't feel like you get banned. Like if you accidentally looked on like a, a website and like a dog, like somebody sent you a TikTok with a literal dog penis, you wouldn't have to like instantly end the stream and be upset with the person who did it. I don't know who I'm referring to, of course. <laughs> um, I do understand that. But the part of it too is that it's like there's the, it's most of the, for the most part, I would argue that the people going to kick or the most extreme people going are going to kick. You know, it's probably the best, least restrictive platform. Like if you're looking for a very like uh, unrestricted platform, because like Rumble is too, you know, it's too far down into that rabbit hole where Kick is like, hey, we're Twitch, but a little cooler. But then all the fucking losers go there. Um, it turns into a problem, and it's one of those things. Like you know, you're starting to see why though. There's so many restrictions on. There's so many restrictions on on uh, Twitch in the first place. If we create a platform that allows people to be more free. And everyone takes that freedom and does heinous, disgusting in the name of clout. That's why we are where we are today. That's why we're seeing all this bull. Like, why does everyone have to do these disgusting, crazy things? True. I mean, that's what's, what's trendy, like bullshit, like prank type content. I will say the one thing that that kick has going for it, um, and it's actually a culmination of a couple things, is that the transparency here. So my understanding, Training Rex is at least part owner of this, right? And so they, if they, if you start just from an optics play, if you start with like, hey, we're gonna be like super unrestrictive about stuff, and then as time goes on, we're seeing like actual heinous acts go on. You had that one guy, Riot, LOL, or whatever, um, talking to kids on Omegle on there, like people that he would, he would confirm are fifteen, then get nude sent to him in his Discord, show them to his fans, like legitimate disgusting stuff. Other people who are doxing each other, other little kids that are going around like hitting people. That was another one, right? Um. And then you get to go like, okay, this made us have to change. So we want to be as uh, as unrestrictive as possible, but this shit is going too far. And then all of a sudden, at least, at the very least, people will be like, okay, they 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 want to do uh, free, but people ruined it. And so now, I mean, they have that human element to it that they could be like, oh, we tried our best. If they want, if they wanted to go in that direction, so at least they have that. When we give them a little bit more freedom, like I don't understand it. Yeah. So like, so right now, like the conversation of why is this person man why is this person not getting on blah blah, blah blah that's irrelevant right now we need to ask ourselves as creators across all of kick what the f here i like the, that. The, 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 some of the sh thing that's being said joke or not it's taking like the freedom that we're trying to give and, and revolutionize uh, on a streaming platform it's taking that 
and it's perverting it, manipulating it, and taking it to extremes. That's fair. It's like, what the fuck? Look what it's creating. Right? These very streamers. One of them teaches kids gambling and the other watches porn on stream while they complain about people pushing boundaries. They set the boundaries. That's a pretty fair based point. Yeah. Are creating the very extreme sides that are being used for the very same cancel culture we all used to once despise. But the problem is, I'm not even against Well, I mean, there's a difference. Listen, here's the thing. There's a difference between banning somebody and cancel culture. I don't think that somebody getting banned is necessarily cancel culture. Cancel culture can lead to a ban. But, I mean, if you're pushing boundaries too hard, that's not like cancel culture. That's like, you know, getting your comeuppance, right? That cancel culture in this very moment because chat's not entirely wrong. Some of the things that are being... Like, what's happened to uh, what that... What's, what is it? George not found. That's cancel culture, right? But Said and done are f disgusting. And they're being done in the name of contentless insecurity of clout these people have no content so they say stupid extreme shit that's just fucking like it, it's unwarranted and just dumb it's true it's like i'm, I'm just i'm getting so sick of this bro I'm, it's, it's so fucking annoying like like content these days it's like here's what it is it's like one good day of content and in the next six days the streamers are so insecure so instead of those six days they just say and do crazy shit that they don't actually believe in but it's just absolutely disgusting and that, that's an issue in my opinion <laughs> No, wait, wait, wait uh, what stream are you specifically talking about? Everyone on this platform. Everyone. Me? Everyone in the, like, everyone in the, just, like, everyone. Like, I mean, like, fuck, like, th there's days I've even been edgy. But it's just, like, bro, like, in no, my... Well, then you're kind of setting the tone, no? Moderation is fine. But it's, like, bro, this, the shit that we're seeing on here is crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's, like, like I, I don't know what these people are expecting. Come, you know? Wait, wait, wait. Come, let him speak first. Okay, so hold on. So, train out. No. Yo. He left. Train left? Cool. Yeah, I'm adding my friend here. I'm adding my friend Virginia in the call. What? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. I don't know. It just, it just, it's yo. getting so, yo. <laughs> is this the guy that got banned? Who is this guy? No, I do agree. That's why I, I don't be doing that, that shit. I'm glad. I just be, you know. Like, there was a line of, like, you know, edgy, <clears throat> toxic, you know, yeah. trolling where everyone kind of understands. None of us mean it, but we're just having fun. There's that. That's fine. Right? There's that that all the blue hairs try taking away. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the blue hairs, that's funny. But then there's like taking it too fucking far where it just becomes like the only it's part of it's funny because like ah, part of it's true and then part of it's funny because it's like this weird cope of like oh blue hair liberals, like they're so fucking offended by them. What to describe it is just pure trash, just trashy. It's trashy. It's some straight like Based. like calling it hillbilly would be an insult to hillbillies. That's how bad it is. Do you understand? Yeah. It's like it's below dirt. Yeah. It's shit. So that's the problem. So okay. So what do we do to fix that? Do you, so do you like the way the moderation team is working? Well, hey, you, know, you have to set a, a harsher example. You know they're trying to fix that, or what I think I think here's the biggest mistake that can be made. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I think transparency needs to be had. Yeah. I think someone needs to come live just the same way I did, and be like, listen, we're not trying to alienate communities that are you know a little bit more edgy. We're not trying to make this into a perfect cookie cutter robotic PG thirteen platform, but at the same time, we can't have people. Just saying this absolute dog shit, trash bullshit that they don't even believe in, but they're just doing it because in that moment they're lacking. What is it that people are saying? Are they saying some wild, like anti, like just like bigoted stuff or something? In content and they're insecure about views. It's like there has to. I mean, yeah. Well, here's the thing, and it sounds silly, but has anybody, and this would be like a train wreck thing for people on kick, has he considered some kind of a seminar? I know that sounds so cringe. I'm 34 years old, okay? We did like harassment seminars and stuff because there are some people who had a, like, would. As one guy specifically, an older guy, he would follow women to their car and like try to hit on them and stuff, and they would get uncomfortable and they'd be like, dude, this guy needs to stop. But anyway, like, have we ever, has anybody ever tried like educating these young content creators on their like longevity? Like, what can make a like longevity? Can make longevity or engage in longevity onto the platform. Uh, part of that being not going super crazy, part of that understanding that you're going to have high and low points for your views. Etc. Because all these kids, it's a lot of kids, I'm assuming, that are coming in. They don't really know the platform. They know that if they do crazy shit, they'll get views. And they don't really have any other value outside of crazy shit. So they come on and they do crazy shit for views. And then they get the views. And then they you know, lose some attention. And then they go and they go do crazy shit again. And then they get to be... Instead of, you know, maybe something that could be a little more productive. As we tried like that education aspect of it. Or... There be a line drawn. <clears throat> there has to be like... People have to have the courtesy and decency and the self-awareness to know, okay, you know what? Let me troll around with my buddy Aiden. We'll make a couple jokes that are on the edge. But I need to understand what too far is. I understand. Like, yeah, like, the, I agree. Like, chat, like, and, I mean, you guys know this too. You guys were pointing out to me, like, Aiden, this is not okay. Like, when we started the pedophilia baiting and shit, like, obviously. 
What the fuck are you talking about? Like that's way the shit she's gonna be doing is not okay, bro. Well, hold on, Basically. hold on, hold on, Kami. He's actually being serious. Basically, train. Like I agree. Um, with everything like the edge. What the hell is the pedophile? What the fuck? He jokes the dark humor with your friends. You know what I mean? But I, I feel like when you're, I, uh, I'm just stuck because they're my friends. They're my fucking friends. Okay. So like I'll I say friends. I don't do that weird. Yeah, shit. but yeah, but but, but here's I'm not the defending Chad. The they're my friends, bro. <laughs> here's the problem. Here's the problem. Okay, listen. Here's the crazy part. The things that they're saying, <clears throat> right? I don't even think they believe. Well, they're no, they just don't. saying it because they believe it's funny and they believe they're getting some sort of approval from viewers. Like, they're just insecure. They're saying shit because they're fucking insecure. Oh, they're insecure. It sounds like they just want attention, but maybe it's insecurity. I don't know. And they believe when they say it, right? It's kind of like when the class clown makes a joke, right? And everyone laughs. And that for that moment, the class clown thinks he has all these friends. That's what these streamers are doing. They're making these crazy jokes <laughs> at any cost to make the chat react. And they believe the chat's reaction and approval from the chat, you know, uh, uh, means that they're not lonely for that moment or means they're providing good content for that moment. It's like some stupid, no, like psychological I, I agree. shit I'm like not that. To, I'm not trying to cut you off. And listen, they are my friends. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I, chat, you guys are saying- Maybe you should make better friends. <laughs> but I, yeah, I understand advocating for your friends. See, this is, this is, here's my thing. Unironically, it's so weird because Aiden Ross is probably one of the most uh, immature people on the internet. Unironically, Aiden Ross is exp Jesus Christ, I keep moving. Is exponentially more mature than like fresh and fit. You see Myron's like defend your friends at any cost and like, you know, everything they do is basically golden. Aiden's like, oh, they're my friends. I want to advocate for them. But I understand what they did was fucked up. He has a more nuanced take on <laughs> defending his friends than a literal grown men fresh and fit. It's wild. I think I'm defending. I'm not. So what they said, obviously, but what I'm saying is, <clears throat> bro, they, I feel that they are my, my friends. And I, and as someone who like train is what train saying is true. Like we got to like start drawing lines and shit on kick or else it's like, it's not going to work. I'm not defending though, bro. I'm not defending. I'm saying that all moderation needs to be consistent. I'm not. Yeah, I agree. I'm, you, yeah. you need to have a level of like, uh, you need to have like a level of professionalism on your platform. But no, but context matters. Yeah, right? it does. It does. Like context matters. The, the, the problem, like, <clears throat> like in order for like, see, Here's the general misconception of consistency. People think consistency means that, you know, um, if you do something in one context and someone else does something in a whole different context, both need to receive the uh, same ban. But that's not how it works in the real world. Hey, what's up, Caleb Hammer? How you doing, brother? Mr. Pop, I've been binging some of your past streams recently. You have good takes. I wish I heard more often in our culture. Well, I appreciate that, Caleb. I do, brother. I'm assuming. <laughs> Thank you for the $5. I'm assuming that you started with the uh, Scott Schaefer video. That shit was wild. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. All right, from one degenerate to another, I'll tell you that much. Okay, well, we'll say one reformed degenerate to another. Uh, hopefully, reformed degenerate. How's that sound? Context matters. <laughs> do you understand? If someone does something in a context Incredible that you can stuff, tell, dude. right? And I, I'm not talking. Hey, this is the year of recognition. All right, ask Amaranth oh, for me if she'll do OnlyFans. But also, don't don't actually ask her that, and don't tell my wife I said that. Made that joke because she'll kick, she'll fucking stab me to death. The heinous shit. The heinous shit that's going on on this platform, they all need to get fucking banned. And they all need to be drawn. The, the, the line needs to be drawn for those people. The heinous shit all need to be banned and the, the line needs to be drawn for them. But, <clears throat> right, at the same time, we have to leave open a, especially for the people that we don't think are truly like that, they're just saying dumb shit. We need to leave an option open where they have a second chance or a third chance. Right? I mean, uh, sure. I mean, I agree with the idea of like, hey, it's no, it's not a bad idea. I think it's going to be difficult moderation wise. Like for me, sometimes I just get to a point where I'm like, yeah, when, if someone wrongs me in some capacity, I just won't associate with them anymore because um, it's just not worth, uh, you know, per that personal growth with that person. But I'm also a content creator. Uh, I'm not trying to develop a platform that is transparent. <clears throat> So I get that. I mean, that could be a, a, not a bad thing. You know, giving somebody an opportunity to reform a little bit is not a, a terrible thing. You know, I mean, I wonder <coughs> if they've considered like, I mean, I don't know how you do it. You have to give somebody like a little slap on the butt when they do a bad thing. Of course. So, but I mean, fundamentally, that's not necessarily a bad idea. Give them a punishment. Tell them they come back and be like, listen, I know that this is super cringe, but like. Because this, because this is like maybe too much of the real world. But like, like I said, like why not some kind of like uh, uh, uh <laughs> this is so stupid. But why not some kind of like harassment meeting or like quality like a meet like when when we would have people do dumb shit at work, um, they would have us all come in and sit down and they would go through a bunch of like regulations. Every year we had safety meetings. I know it sounds so stupid. I'm not saying every year, but if you have a content creator acting like a fucking idiot. Uh, have you guys tried like some kind of like school? I know it sounds so dumb, but even YouTube kind of does that. If you get a content strike on your channel and they pull a video down, they give you the opportunity to take a very quick test. It's not like a huge thing. 
but a very quick test that's like, hey, do you understand that you're like a fucking, you know, you're how you violated our rules? And there, and then you have the opportunity to now, am I absorbing everything from the test? No, but it's still something. It's like, a, you know, it gives me the opportunity to make a mistake and go, oh, and you can get the content the warning removed from your channel. I got my content warnings removed from my channels. It's like, oh, that's cool. Like it's a, it, you know, something like that. Some kind of a brainstorm. I don't know how you'd implement it, but. Right. But we need to figure out what that line is as well. Because some of the shit that's being done and said oh, is shit. just, it's so fucking stupid to even, even think of to do. I should put this in the title though. So at the end of the day, bro, I, I, it's it, like, I don't know how the, uh, how Eddie and all them feel, but I know how I feel. Fuck is Eddie. And it's just getting so fucking annoying. It's like, this is becoming everything that I don't want it to be. That's fair. <clears throat> you understand? No, I do. I, I you're saying it's valid, bro. We're, we're giving, no, we're giving like all those PG-13 fucks that are hoping we fail. We are giving them everything that they want by behaving in this way. Yeah. We are giving them every. That's true. You're giving them the ammunition to say like, haha, we knew this wouldn't work, idiot. You know, that's what you're, you're unironically giving them the ability to, to do that. That's true. You're giving them the satisfaction. You know, you have to do some kind of regulate, but either way, they, they're going to feel like they won. Um. Either way, they're gonna they're gonna feel like they won because they you had to do some kind of moderation, I guess. But yeah, free ammo. We're giving that doesn't really matter. What really matters is that the platform succeeds in the long in the long run. And everything. It's like why can't we exist in a way where like okay, you know what? We're, we're all decent, good people, but we're a little bit more edgy and we like to joke. We have humor. Why can't it be at that? No, but I will say I will say one thing. Like I, I'll take accountability as somebody who kind of like is the one that is the face of the, the platform. Like you know, there's times where I'll pull up like videos of like people getting like I'll pull up like crazy videos on Twitter. My chat doesn't talk about like. I've done that too, so I take accountability as well. Yeah, but here's what I'm talking about. Listen, I guess I can appreciate the self growth from Aiden. <laughs> There's a stereotype oh in this world God. where edgy people or people who have humor that is maybe a little darker <laughs> yeah. are automatically bad people. Why are we on this platform? Maybe, uh, maybe I don't know. I it's inter it's an interesting thing to to, to talk about because I don't know if that's necessarily true. Maybe on the platform. Where did he say? That's what I'm talking about. Listen. There's a stereotype in this world where edgy people... Yeah, I don't know about in this world because, again, and uh, you have somebody like Shane Gillis who's extraordinarily popular right now that's edgy, but he's still, like, respectful edgy. I feel like we haven't done enough a good enough job as a society of educating people on the difference, uh, on the intentionality of edgy jokes, right? I really... Gen I love edgy jokes, Okay. Um, there's one making the rounds on like different reacting pages. <laughs> I forgot my Instagram. We got like 10 million views on there. Uh, I love edgy jokes. I love edgy humor. I think it's fun, but I try not to be disrespectful when I do it. Right? Like I, if I make a joke against an individual, not an individual, but like, a, like I make a little edgy joke. Oh, I make a joke about black people. I like to make the joke in a way where I feel like black people would laugh at it. You know? As long as they're one of the good ones, of course. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, no, but seriously, I'm not trying to offend people. And I feel like there are some people who, or a lot of these people, they don't understand that they're trying to be offensive in their edgy jokes for quick views. They're not just like, hey, I want to make like a silly joke like to make people laugh. They're just like, oh, no, I want like to genuinely offend somebody with this joke. I know it'll make some people laugh, but I also want to be like offensive. And those are two, two very different things. Those are two very different things. People or people who have how do you humor get that over your first breakup, man? Just time, brother. Time and and focusing on yourself and and you know trying to find other girls. You know, is maybe a little darker. <laughs> are automatically bad people. Why are we on this platform? Why are we almost proving that stereotype to be true? Why can't we show that people who have darker humor or more edgy can also be good people who know the line mm -hmm. and who know what lines not Gotta to cross? That line, brother. Why are we proving a stereotype true that we all know is not true? We all know that nine times out of ten in the real world, the people who are who joke and have a little edginess in their life are actually usually more transparent and realer people than those ones that act all perfect. Sure. But on this platform, for some reason, at least you know where you stand with them. That's not how we're acting. We are literally proving every stereotype of edgy people being just. <laughs> I'm glad you finally stopped saying the hard R. Now I can watch you guilt free. Dude, stop. I never said that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Disgusting fucking disgraces of humans. Oh my God. To be true. I'm gonna get rid of like, it's, it's getting so I'm, I'm getting so sick of it like why are like we are on, on kick we are trying to give people and streamers yeah. a platform where they don't have to be scared looking over their shoulder every fucking second of a, of a ban because they say you know a word right or they accidentally you know you know something Chill. pops up in a video for a second yeah like somebody sends you a dog penis tiktok why would tiktok allow that and then you gotta end your stream who do who would do that <laughs> But we do that, and then these streamers, it, that's not enough. Yeah. They take it too fucking far. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that was the whole goal of Kick, bro. Like, on Twitch, whenever you do, you have to be basically walk on eggshells every stream. And now it's kind of like, I'll take accountability. It's me too, bro. 
like you you just kind of like take that for granted you know and that's you're right bro i feel like we got to fucking tee up as creators <clears throat> we need to tee up and be be classier like like there's such thing there's such thing as having the humor you have aiden having the humor that chat might have having the humor that i might have when i, when I come in here and i you know talk about condi dropping the end bomb you can't be coming in here what the fuck right that might have having the humor that i might have when i, when I come in here and i you know talk about condi dropping the end bomb right? what the fuck right that should be able to exist while we're also good people who have the line yeah okay sure yeah, the yeah. problem is, like, we've, we've created this monster where... Oh, I salt all my... Where we have streamers <laughs> who, because things. they believe they can say the F word, now instead of just, like, using it how they would in real life, where they use it one time every, like, 10 sentences, they're saying it 15 times in one sentence. Yeah. Just be... I'm sorry, what the fuck are you talking about, brother? Is... <laughs> I thought we are talking about edgy jokes. Wait, are we talking about, like, being able to use the literal F slur? Why would you set that standard that that's okay? I don't I don't really understand. <laughs> wow. Okay. I thought we were talking about like legit jokes. I didn't think we were talking about like yeah, I kind of should be able to throw around like actual bigoted slurs on my platform is not a big deal. I'm not going to sit here and act all like fucking goody goody like I don't drop some inappropriate words in in the real world when I'm angry at somebody who you know, cuts me off in traffic. All right. Or their motorcycles too loud. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to pretend that I don't say bad words. Okay. But publicly, that's shameful, brother. I would never advocate for that. I shouldn't be saying the words I'm saying. I don't like it. But I, I was born into a different generation. I was a young man and I was groomed by the video games like Dota 2 into saying bad words. Okay. I was, I'm a victim of grooming. Okay. <laughs> being bigoted grooming we're gonna call it it's not, it's not my fault it's not my problem no but all jokes aside like you shouldn't be using those words in private or in public but at the very least you should like get that out of your public vernacular there's really it's almost impossible to use the f slur in a way that's not bigoted towards lgbtq people especially when you're in that sphere like if you're at home and you're just like oh this is uh uh you know oh this guy cut me off he's a f slur you shouldn't be doing that it's not good but when you, but you're just talking to like yourself. You're at your home and you're 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 with yourself, okay? Or you're at like the uh, a, a clan meeting, you know, one of those two places. Very relatable. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but when you say it in a public space, in a public atmosphere, all of a sudden, like those individuals can tune in and hear that, and that could be like hurtful to them. And that's never the supposed to be the point. Like I don't, you know, you don't you don't want to use these bad words to be offensive to people. So and then you should you should be reasonably sensitive to those people that are just like oh like i don't want to hear it you know because it's hurtful brother and that's sometimes it's all it needs to be just be a little bit more uh he means fuck well he's what do you mean he means fuck fuck or the end of the f there's no way he means fuck because they can they're doing it because they believe they can say the f word now instead of just like using it how they would in real life where they use it one time every like 10 sentences they're saying it 15 times in one sentence. What do you mean? Am I? Am I? Did I just go off on a, a tangent for nothing? True. Just because they can't. He definitely means the, 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 the. He definitely means the f slur. There's no way he just means like fuck. There's no way because I can say that on YouTube. You can say that on Twitch. You're not gonna have like an actual problem. There's no way he means fuck. If he does, correct me. He would have said fuck. They're doing it. That's true. Like that's disgusting. That's, that's true. Disgusting. I take accountability. I'm one of those people. So I've done it before. I've oh guys, look what I can do. Not get banned. So I've done that before. So that's true. I feel like when you use it, when you use it like spamming it wise, just be like, oh, I can do this. Just like that one incident where I pulled up porn on stream. It's like, it's just kind of like we know you. Can it doesn't matter if he said F word, not F slur. There's no way he's talking about the censoring of, of the word fuck. There's just absolutely no way. I would, I just would not believe it unless he was explicit about it. There's no way he did. There's no way. <laughs> what is this? Is it, this isn't like a kid's show. There's no way he would, he would say um, F, he would say F word instead of literally just saying the word fuck. No way. There's no way. Do that and not. There's no way he's he's talking about the F slur. He just didn't call it a slur in that moment. Really get a crazy ban for it, but it's like we gotta like I, I gotta be better at that because I'm. I'm yeah, it's like we just we need to like like you said we need to tee back up on guys. I'm not deflecting away from Cheezer. I'm not. I, I we just need to tee up, bro. That's all. We need to tee up and get tea back up, to baby. a place where we can show. Okay, listen. People who you know make I can't believe this is about slurs. Jokes like this, or do this, or do that, or say this word, or you know whatever the fuck, right? They don't have to be bad. They can just be friends fucking around. We need to get back to those times because right now we've gone to a point where it just looks like every single person who has darker humor or jokes is actually know, a racist. Or is
That's a little further than dark humor. Using literal slurs, I think, is a little bit more than dark humor. I like dark humor. Okay? It's my favorite type of humor. Okay? So. Actually. I mean, despite the fact that my dark humor, I only use it 13% of the time. Still 52% of the laughs I get. It's incredible stuff. Sorry. That was a little much. Um, this isn't dark humor. This is like legitimate race. What I just, that joke I just made is like dark humor. And I've, I'm very, I'm very, I'm explicitly clear about why I see Like I do this a lot and people probably get annoyed, but I'm very clear about what I'm joking. I'm like, I'm just kidding. I do that on purpose because I know I'm very sarcastic. I don't want people to actually think I'm serious. Like, I don't mean that. Like if you're somebody that doesn't like black people, I, you're not, you know, you're not invited to my cookout. Get out of here, dude. I don't like that. You know, you, that's another thing too. It's like, do they set the tone that like, oh, I love, I love gay people. They're incredible. They're so hot. They're making my dick so hard. <laughs> um, but only gay women kissing. Gay men are cool. It's a little weird watching gay guys. I don't know why I do it so much, but it's weird. But like, that's cool too. I just, I'm not into it I, too much, unless I'm in a special mood, you know? You know, a hateful person that's a trashy, disgusting person. Man. We need to get away from that. It's like, it's so fucking annoying to me, bro. Like we are literally proving all those PG-13 fucks that we hate right. We're yeah. proving them right. Yeah, true. I don't know, man. It's pissing me off. I think I'd rather hang out with some those PG-13 fucks than, than people who are saying slurs, man. That's just not cool. I'm not down with that. It really is. And the worst part is, here's the worst part, Aiden. All these streamers, part, right? They're gay. That are sitting here abusing the system and taking it too Wait, far. What? They're going to turn on the very platform oh that is giving God. them that freedom. That's crazy. And that's, and that's why the platform know, has to make the decision to put their foot down and draw some sort of line. Am okay. I talking some SGW post you shit? No. Definitely not. But some line needs to be drawn to some degree because these streamers... Yeah, I thought this was going to be about annoying IRL streamers that bother people. Yeah, me too. It's not. It's about slurs. <laughs> they're shameless. It's true. They're man children that are just... like It's crazy. Like, like I hate to say this, but like I mean, it's not the platform's responsibility. But in a way, these motherfuckers like need parents. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I like what Liko said. Dark humor on Twitch hit more because of that too. You used to laugh looking at monkey. Now you have to say crazy shit to laugh. Like, it's kind of like you, you were like... The dark humor on Twitch hit more because of the fact that like... It was TOS and everyone knew it was TOS. You know what I mean? Sure. I understand what he's saying. It's like when something a little edgy is still not really acceptable on Twitch, it seems funnier because it's like, oh, you're not supposed to say that. Um, it's like the Overton window of edginess, you know? And as we get more sensitive as a society, um, things that were once a little edgy become more edgy. And that makes that joke, more, I guess you'd think like funnier or edgier comparatively. Sure. I get it. Well, I mean, Look at those apps that you just brought up, right? Monkey or Amigo, right? What? What's Monkey? In the beginning, yeah, that there was you know some idiots that did stupid, disgusting shit. But in the beginning, it was relatively. T I went on there sometimes. There's these guys with their wieners out. It's fucking crazy. Tame, right? People were happy that you know this was allowed. Yeah. And then, and then you know a month, two months, three months, and look what happened. People took that freedom. What they do with it? They started doing disgusting shit. Disgusting, disgusting shit. Absolutely. Like what? to a point, brother. What do you mean like what? You all <laughs> like what? Isn't he agreeing the whole time? What the fuck? Oh no, you've seen it. Disgusting shit to a point where now the platform like has what? to look like the bad guy and has to find a way to eliminate this content. That's all. That's not the platform's fault. That's the streamers who are greedy, uh... insecure, contentless fuck. Dude, you're fucking pigs. I was on his side until now. You're letting people use literal bigoted slurs. Like you, you, you're the problem. Like you're being stupid. <laughs> That are pushing boundaries because they're insecure of their content. Monkey is basically Omega, but with more young people. Incredible. Because they have none. Do you understand? There oh, has to it, be, dude, like, if you're going to get that freedom, at least take some responsibility of that freedom and realize, okay, you know Chat. what? He's not talking about. What type of creators do you think you're going to pull onto your platform if you are allowing to go so far as, like, legitimate bigoted slurs? Like, that's fucking crazy, man. What the? I'm me. I'm not the one doing monkey discussing things on monkey. Am I trained? No, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm. I'm not talking about you. I'm Thank talking you. to people who are God taking it. To, like, I'm talking to people who are taking it to the level of, you know, like it, it's it's disgusting for me to even say it. But like, chat yeah. knows. What's you that? know, right? What's that? People who are like purposely like baiting things that are that have no room for even jokes. Oh, you understand? Are you, my, are you talking about my dildo thing? I do. No, he's talking about the pedal clips, bro. Because bro, pedal clip, I get it, and I'm not supporting. I'm in the wrong for that 100. I'm not. I don't even think I need to watch the pedal clip. I think uh, that's wild, brother. Don't even talk, honestly, real, geez, real quick I'm, on this train, just real quick. That was yeah. a year ago, so why is it getting brought up now? <coughs> Everybody else can do shit. Obviously, the moderation not, team is dog shit, and they have favors. Just say the truth. It's dog shit. What I was they're roasting, they're what I was roasting, wasn't even you. I was roasting every. Thing from the beginning of kick and how it transpired and how it progressed over time do you understand if that led up to you and to what you did sure maybe you belong in there maybe you don't but th this was going on and this happened with far more streamers than just you do you understand and as far as the favorites go the fa listen the favorites like does that exist i'll take a look into it of course but it does a lot of the things that i see no it's a perception it's a it's a contextual thing 
Well, of course, there's going to be favorites. There's going to be people who like make more money for the platform or have been around longer and they're more friendly with the platform. But I imagine that from like an optics perspective, they don't want the favorites to exist um, because that was one of their problems with Twitch. It's like, oh, there's favorites. There's people who get away with stuff. And they rallied so hard against some of these things, like your Pokemains and Hassan's being favorites, getting away with shit, um, and your Amaranths, I guess, as well. You know, And... Um, <clears throat> Now they're just doing the same thing. And it's so funny that it seems to just, you're getting right back there. You know, you're kind of getting right back there. Kick's got to figure something out to kind of maintain its I, I, edginess. We have pedos and slurs. Yeah, it's my fucking, hey, my favorite platform. You understand? No, no, it's no, a no, context. no, no, no. Yes and no. In, in for the this, heinous shit, for the heinous shit, you're right. There should be no context in the, that in, okay. in, in the last five to ten major bands from mid to small size creators, there's been some serious favoritism. If you have not, okay, so, so so tell me and I'll tell you my opinion on that. Okay, so Sweater God just got banned last night. As long as for what? For what? For doxing and Louis Bear got banned for doxing. The same. They were doxing. Well, yeah, they were doxing. Doxing each okay. other. They were both doxing each other on stream. Louis Bear got banned for a month. Uh, sorry, definitely, and, and Sweater got banned for a week. Well, which one started the the which one started it? I would ban the one that started the doxing over the other person. Thank you so much for the two dollars from GD. Big Among Us Balls. Hi, Papa. Wow, incredible, man. I really appreciate that. <laughs> How you doing? Okay. And this is your third super on a live stream, by the way. That's what it says in the chat. What information did... did, <clears throat> did uh, listen, so first of all, we need to make one thing clear. Okay, doxing is... But correct me if I'm wrong, chat. I could be wrong here. Doxing is bad. But is you don't want to set the standard that that's acceptable. Even the person who does it back, you need to... Uh, you need to punish. Doxing <laughs> not an illegal offense? Yes. Yes, it is. So we're not arguing. Okay, it's a federal offense. Okay, thank you, thank you, Chad. So we're not arguing the justification. If the ban is justified, we know the ban is justified based on law. Okay. Now we're, we're arguing the length of the ban, right? The length of the ban. Listen, here's the problem. I'm yeah, the proportionality of the punishment. I'm gonna give you one tip, okay, from being in the game a long time. I know you love your friends, but if you're at, unless you're hearing the ban reason from Eddie himself or the moderation team themselves, you cannot believe your friends. You. Mm, interesting problem. A little bit of a problem there. I'm gonna explain to you why. Okay. I think one of the most frustrating things about certain platforms can be the lack of transparency. YouTube, especially last year, was extraordinarily frustrating because I would post a video and then it would get taken down. Okay. And I would get a, I got, I got, I think three last year. I got three community guidelines violations. Two of them were overturned, but not through YouTube. I would, I would, I would get it. I would appeal it to YouTube. They would reject it. I'd have to go to Twitter. I would have to like write a whole thing and then after a week they'd look into it and they'd take it away and this is when you would get the weak ban and you couldn't like take a fucking test. Okay. It's frustrating that there's a lack of transparency and they wouldn't even be specific as to the stuff that they did decide to commit to. Right? It's very frustrating as a content creator. I'm like, why am I getting banned? Like, what is it specifically? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking asshole, bitch? Um, that's extraordinarily frustrating. For him to say... Oh, you don't even know the reason why you need to hear it from Eddie himself. It suggests to me that no, but like the specific reason why isn't communicated to content creators. And that would be a problem. No, like you're not being transparent with your own content creators unless he, they tell the person one on one what's happening. But I don't know. To me, it kind of screams like, oh, we're not being super, uh, you know, transparent. You should be more transparent about like why you do, you know, you enact certain rules on different people and et cetera, et cetera, in different degrees. But this is a common problem in like the real world, too. I remember I was involved in an accident at work a while ago. And basically what happened is there is uh, basically three parties involved. Myself, another drive, dry, my, the person working with me as because I used to run the bus cleaning service for my county so myself uh you know the other person that was like underneath me he but he also had the same like responsibilities as me uh, i was just in charge and then somebody who got hit what happened was i was in it's called a wash bay you drive it through it washes like the side of the bus whatever my bus got stuck i started to back up and i ended up sandwiching somebody's uh, with their knee in between myself and that other person right and what I did was I wasn't supposed to back up in the wash bay. That's like a protocol. We like I honestly never knew that was a protocol because we always did if we got stuck. But I backed up 13 seconds it took. So I didn't back up fast. The alarm was going off. There was plenty of warning. However, the driver behind me, the guy I was working with, was on his phone not paying attention. And when the guy got his knee crushed in between it, he didn't even react for like a couple of seconds because he was on his phone, which is a big no-no. I don't know if you guys know this. You're not supposed to be on your phone while you're driving. So he's like on his phone reading. We got the same punishment because um, 
it was really just a union rule. Like you can't punish one person more severely than another person, even though he probably should have gotten more severely punished compared to me. Right. And that's something that they even do at jobs. So, you know, it might be considered in those situations, considering that, considering the optics of how it works out, because this is a problem people even deal with in the real world. Oh, yeah, another bus cleaning store. I worked that job for like 11 years. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> you cannot believe them. They're going to give you some half ass story. Listen, there's three truths, okay? There's the actual truth. There is the one guy's side and the other guy's side. Do you understand that? I do. Bro. They're going to give you some bullshit. Oh, no, man, I only said this. And then I promise you, you talk to the moderation team, there's going to be 55 fucking clips of the guy going way too far. And you're going to put your name on the line for something that they're lying to you about because they don't have the fucking balls or the authenticity to be, to be straight up with you. Do you understand how many times I've had... On the other hand, you really can't be... It's kind of like a weird thing to you know, to tell everybody exactly why they got banned. So I guess to keeping it one-on-one -on -one makes sense. I don't know. Friends don't on this know. platform message me, yo, bro, I got banned. I didn't do anything. I hit a moderation team. I put my name behind it. And I get 60 different clips of not only heinous shit, but illegal shit. Damn. So you need to talk to the moderation team before your friends give you some and bullshit and soft story in your Twitter DMs. All right, well, I'll give you another, I'll give you another example. This is 100% confirmed. Um, and, I, and I have no problem. And actually, I was one of these people that said to get him unbanned. You know, Neon had a weak ban for basically saying he was going to, you know, do something to a 10-year-old. And That makes sense to get banned. And right? um, <coughs> someone else got banned indefinitely for kind of saying something crazy just like that. Neon got banned after two days. Um, and then the guy still... Well, give me the still. exact context. You, you, you gave me the exact context of the Neon thing. But I mean, I'm not going to say it. You can watch similar. the clips. You can watch the clips. And I'm not snitching, by the way. I just want... Well, I mean, listen, I just feel like if you can say what Neon did exactly and you you don't feel like you could say what the other guy did <laughs> i feel like uh that's your answer no but i want everything to be very consistent with the bands no matter how many followers you have no matter how many viewers you get i want everything to be consistent. well yeah but there needs to be a similar proportionality considering the situation there's a difference between two people in the same uh like going back and forth with each other and getting the same punishment versus two people doing something uh getting like a punishment based on the context and how many issues that they've had before etc etc um i mean you have to watch both clips they're both pretty fucked up Okay, I'm not going to do but, that. Yeah. I don't want to get my fucking stream banned. <laughs> yeah, I would. <clears throat> I'll, I'll talk to moderation and see what these clips are. Usually, streamers like ourselves stay out of this because clearly we have biases. Yeah, I know. I'm doing biases and cheaser, banned processes. Cheeser sweater, my friends, guys. So that's why, like, I'm not. Dude, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to moderation and I'll see I'll what the exact. I'll see what the, what the exact context is, and I will send it to you, uh, Aiden. Like, I, I'll see what the exact thing is, and I'll send it to you, and you decide on whether you think it's fair or not. Like, okay. That's what I'll do. Like I, I'm gonna look into it right now, and I'm I will, gonna I will see say, what the reasons are. Chat, I'm not. I'm not. It's true. Jesus clips are old. Um, you know, you guys are gonna. Horrible, I'm not downplaying. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like Jesus clips are old. Old. They're all horrible clips, but you know, um, they're old. I'm not. It's not. I'm not defending, bro. Is that what it is? It's old clips that got this person banned. Well, that's a little different, though. I mean, if they're old clips, uh, I mean, again, I don't know. If you didn't get them for it back then, why get them for it now? Especially if he doesn't do that anymore. I'm gonna be honest, your fuck. Just ban me, on God. I don't care. If you don't ban me, they're gonna say you I don't. Support, you know what? Just ban me. I don't care. It's so you want you want to be banned for a month? I don't want a month. <laughs> God, well, you know you happy as fuck. Yeah, oh God, he's happy as <laughs> no, fuck. No, couple. No, I'm not you guys. I actually like streaming. I just deal with. Cap, you haven't you haven't streamed in a week. Twenty hours while dealing with what I dealt with. I'm I mean the I mean I'll tell you what the way the way you stream that month ban's already up. <laughs> Wait, what? You heard me, boy. It's, he's saying you don't stream. That's why. I do stream. Don't worry, don't worry Cheese. I'll take your ban for you, Cheese. I'll be a W man. You can ban me instead. Terminate my channel. I, so just <laughs> okay. It's like so I know, bro. Am I getting banned? Like, it's How do I think that Hassan would react if he got banned from Twitch? I think he would actually cry. Yeah, I think he would like legitimately cry and fucking shit and fart, poop his pants. That would be kind of funny to see that. That that's not me or Aiden's call. Like me or Aiden have to be separate from these banned. I think if he originally if he got banned, he would like message them and be like, guys, you don't ban me right now, and he would feel like he shouldn't have gotten banned. And then if they affirmed the decision and kept the ban, he would fucking be devastated. That'd be wild. Also, this team is full of Jake Futures, and I'm not going to share your code. I don't care. It's the worst team I've ever seen. Thank you. No, the kick moderation team is very inconsistent with their bands. Saying, They're so stupid. Saying, They're dumb. If Snacks is pulling 70k, he would not get a perma ban. That's true. That's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. And you know, um, I'm not trying to throw Neon under the bus, but bro, it's the same thing. Like Neon got. That might be true. Uh, that also might be a code for them to like downplay the severity of what the person had done. Be like, no, no, no. If they were bigger, they wouldn't have got punished. I don't, maybe I don't know. Ban unbanned after two days, bro. Snacks is definitely spent it. That's true, Liko. But don't you? I mean, I have to see what the context are, but bro, I don't I know. know. My clips are horrible, but it was a year ago. And two of them are AI. And I'm not yeah, defending no. Neon, and I'm not defending Snags. I'm not defending anyone, bro. But I'm just saying. Um, no, can we pay Rainbow? Yeah, you got, yeah. Hold on, we're having a conversation, buddy. The, uh, right, can you not comprehend it? Can you read? Can you write? <laughs> no, he's Mexican. Bro, you're a fucking pedophile, nigga. Yo! Whoa. Whoa. Right, That's crazy. I'm going to say, I said a joke. I don't know. 
This kid would actually play with a 16 year old off stream. I don't care, Com. You've been running. Nigga, who play what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Damn, we got some wild. This is a wild. What a what a wild and crazy time right now. Oh my god, I gotta. I'm gonna fucking die. Nigga, who play with a fucking six year old? Who who who? Fuck it out. Damn, I was about to say that. He fucking beat me to the punch. Jesus Christ. You want, nigga, all right, all right, all right, all right. Weirdo. God damn, you said all right. times today to listen, baby, fucking listen. And you was fucking, and you, and you was fucking Kaylin and she was 15 and you was 18, nigga. Talk about that one, nigga. I mean, I don't really care about 15 and 18 if I'm being honest with you, so. Oh, all right. The guy wouldn't say it's ideal, but I wouldn't really call that predatory, but okay. Yeah, because that's you. Yeah. Like I'm 23 and she's 21 right now. I'm just trying to play Rainbow, bro. I don't know y'all was still talking about this shit. Why are, because okay. I'm obviously trolling when they say they got to ban you. Like, don't know what you're taking shares, bro. Yo. They got to, they got to unban sweater then. Free my dog sweater. I think we need to look at the, uh, I'll, I'll look into the context. Like I said, I think you're, uh, right. We are right. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. Chat, I vouch. Dude, the kick moderation team. I'm not, I mean, I don't know if they're instantly right. I mean, these guys are, <laughs> I don't know if they're known for their ability to parse their information, but it's gotta be the most stupidest moderation team I've ever seen in my life. Dude, they fucking suck. I'm not even joking. They fucking suck. All right, so let me. I, I, listen, I'm a little uneducated on the relationship of all these people, but it sounded like the two other individuals came in. One of them was like, "Oh, ban this guy because he stinks" or something. So the other guy came in and in, to defend his honor, he's like, "You're fucking around with 15 or 16 year olds, I think it was, off stream." So what that communicate, and that was because he was angry. So what that communicates to me is that you're fine with him. I don't know how old he is, but you're fine with him fucking with like 16 year olds off stream, um, unless he upsets you, and then you're gonna tell everybody about it out of spite. That's uh. Wow, that's definitely the mark of a good man. Incredible. They give absolute, they just show the favoritism. Chat, don't even try to hide it. They make it so obvious. There's like no fucking, it's just, it's so stupid, bro. They indefinitely suspend people, which I don't agree with, first of all. Second of all, what? they just completely shit on people with that. I think it's easy to make a lot of these prescriptions. Um, and again, it's not bad to advocate for yourself and your friends, but it's easy to make these prescriptions when you have no real skin in the game. Like you're not part of the moderation team. Whose legitimate responsibility legitimate responsibility is to make sure that the platform stays um, available and be able to generate like just exist, and that's what moderation does. And so it's like it's easy to be like, oh, you don't really have any real skin in the game here, like you know. So don't well, in, in, indefinitely, indefinitely is not a perma ban. It's not. No. So how they basically like they find out they're they're like in, seeing in, indefinitely. Wait, 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 what if it's how they get banned for? An indefinite ban, ban is like it's not a perma ban, but you're like you're banned without like a time period. Like it is kind of indefinite, or rather, it is kind of a permanent ban. Does anyone know? Oh, you fucking kidding me! I don't know any of these things. There's, there's a reason we're kept out of it, so we can't influence, um, you know, people's bans that we might not like. Right? That would not be okay. Therefore, we're, that's why we're not uh, involved in ban decisions. Fuck <laughs> right? Yeah. But I, but I will look into you know the bands of sweater versus which they said neon and snags. Neon and snags, sweater and Louis Bear. Okay, let me fuck. Incredible names. Can write these down and I'll do a little inquiry for you and I will give you the reasons. Anyone else? Chat? Oh yeah, De Derek stacks Wapo. If you can look into. Hold on, I, I, so I need to spell these names. So sweater Louis Bear. Uh, sweater else? Louis Bear. Neon and who? Neon, uh, neon and snags. Okay, and then who else? Um, Caden or sorry, Karen C A R E N. Okay. Chat, you guys are spamming Cheezer. Those clips are literally from fucking years ago, dude. It was? Oh, yeah, it was. Well, there was Karen one. who? Cheezer. How often? Yeah. There's only one clip that was recent, the Mellow one, right? That was the only recent one? Mellow typed in my chat. He said he's going to rape my dead fucking uncle. So I said something back to him, and it was fucked up. That's how me and Mellow joke around. But I, I, All right. I, well, that seems uh, incredibly inappropriate. Okay. Sorry, Mellow, bro. Mellow, you're in my chat. Mellow, how old are you? And what's it called? Did he's you gonna lie. You know Mellow, bro. Right. You know he's gonna lie. All right, all right, I'm not defending chat. I'm not defending. I'm not defending. I don't Mello go. Is a weirdo. Okay, he's so a weirdo. already in the first like minute, I'm still waiting on like you know everything. But in the first minute, right, uh, the bands range for one reason. Different streamers. Whether I don't know what they're telling you. Like I said, it's uh, I don't know why when it comes to band streamers are very dishonest. It seems like. A lot of these streamers that got longer bans than the ones you're naming were because they got many, multiple warnings. Oh. Multiple warnings beforehand, before a ban was even taken place. They were warned and talked to multiple times. And. Oh, wow. That, what a surprise. They literally went against that <laughs> in the name of content. Okay, right? so, so Snags was spoken to multiple times. So, well, uh, I haven't gotten names yet, but that's the first thing that's being relayed to me that, that the people who got longer bans. They've been given three or four chances each. So none of them were banned on their first offense. Oh, well, how come some got three and another got four, huh? Inconsistency, guys. They got multiple chances to <clears throat> cool the fuck down and stop saying stupid shit like that, right? 
and doing stupid shit like that, and they decided to ignore it for the views. Yeah. Right. So, so these are contexts that these streamers are not telling you. They're, they're not giving you, hey, kick talk. I agree. Kick's giving me a warning before. Multiple right. Times, so, so, yeah, so it's, it's like, true. I will say that's true too. They they, they give warnings all the time, guys. <laughs> So you knew they gave warnings all the time and you just didn't factor that into your fucking brain? Wow, that's incredible. Also, last thing I'm going to say, that now that she's on Defen. Guys, Cheezer Gas is my friend. I don't think he deserves the ban this time, chat, because all those clips are very old, okay? Oh, um, so basically he already got his punishment for it. They gave him warnings for it, right? Cheezer, you got warning from the clips, right? Yeah. That's not, yeah. I mean, listen, I'm going to leave that to moderation. That's not okay. your decision. And or, chat, and chat if there's a new clip of Cheezer saying some crazy shit, then yes, okay, fine. But you got, I'm not support. <laughs> I'm done. I'm trying. I'm sorry, bro. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Not even defend me because then it just looks weird, bro. I don't know why people are calling me this word. It's insane as fuck, but whatever. Like, I've been in a relationship for seven years. It's, like, it's like the worst. Like I wonder how fucking bad this shit is, dude, because I feel like <laughs> they are not able to say a singular thing about him. <laughs> these, I feel like these are so bad. Like, whatever they're doing might be some real fucked up, suspicious stuff. But, uh, you know, okay. I think the worst word to be called. Right? Yeah, yeah, from your yeah, side, it's a little bit different. Y'all keep trolling. Y'all keep trolling. It's the worst hey, chat. It is. I see how I feel, nigga. Even Jake Future said he deserves a ban. Okay, that's crazy. Nah, Jake, Jake Future. I deserve a ban? <laughs> Jake. You think he's losing his deal in two days? Worry about the, you're worried about the wrong shit, Jake. Yo. Okay. It sounds like this guy might deserve his ban. I don't know. Nah, he he's said Jake. around right now. He's rattled. Nah, Jake said he sh you shouldn't be banned because yeah, of he said you should be banned because of I appreciate you, Jake. I appreciate you. W Jake, man. Okay. But me, you should be by now. I feel like this is this is gonna be like that formative moment, like where where if once Kick gets banned, this is gonna be the video. This is gonna be in there. This is gonna be like referenced in. We're not banned, but like once it hits its downfall, this is gonna be referenced as like the moment where like oh we all should have knew, <laughs> you know. Like no, that word is crazy. W J. Yeah, if the chat is against it, it has to be degenerate. True, man. True that. Jake said Cheezer does not deserve to be banned. Crazy. Um, bro, do whatever's right in everybody else's eyes. I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't. dude, just go back to Twitch in 2023, right, chat? Nobody got banned. It was so good. <laughs> I'm kidding, Train. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta watch what I say, bro. Like that. I, don't, I, don't. I mean, it's not. I mean, Cheezer, it's not uh, like, right? Like, there are a lot of things you can say and joke to be edgy, but there are certain yeah, topics man. that I think, like, it doesn't matter what generation. Right? I mean, think of the Xbox Live days. The Xbox yeah. Live days before you guys were even alive. We said some disgusting shit, sexist, racist, but no one ever took it to the levels of involving children. Like that shit needs okay, to Okay, no, 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 I'd like to actually interrupt. When I was in what, back in Black Ops, Black Ops One Days on God, I'd be in game chat and men would like say crazy shit to me. Like, okay, they're... great. It's what is this? So this guy's talking about what is he making jokes about? Like molesting children? Like what the fuck is happening here? This is, this is insane. This is wild. If I was an investor thinking about investing into Kick, I would have walked out immediately this is insane holy fuck this is wild but okay you're gonna buddy me. i'm not <sighs> buddy 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 listen we're not talking like we're talking about like the shit that people are doing and saying for content are they're just heinous and, and here's the crazy part right and i said this about cheeser i don't think cheeser believes any of the things he said i don't think he lives by those of course things. he doesn't i think, I think he yeah. said them because he's doing shock factor content you know, so this guy's talk. So the, uh, what I'm hearing is that this guy Cheezer is talking about doing kids or something weird ass shit. Is what you're telling me? What the fuck? Why? Why is this? Uh, why is this a debate? <clears throat> We're having like a spirited conversation about this. this is weird as hell. Well, I'll be honest. He wants, yes, he that's, wants that's, to get that's clipped. That's fucking stupid. No, it's fucking stupid. Right? There's there's many things you can say and do here that you can't say anywhere else. But to take it too far and just be stupid like that, like. I agree. I agree. That's just like why, like I, I don't, and, and this doesn't just apply to you. Like, like you're just being singled out because you're Aiden's friend. This applies Yo. to many streamers on this platform. <laughs> many Aiden's streamers on this Aiden's platform do this exact content, and not only are they doing it, they're bragging that they can do it, and nothing will happen. You know how disgusting that is. Right, Aiden's you know how friend. Fucking disgusting. That no, no. disgusting. I feel like the joke sounds pretty more disgusting than this, but okay. No, no, I don't think like the joke sounds a little more disgusting than your interaction with a joke. I'll say, but okay. Oh, okay. It is disgusting. <laughs> It is disgusting. It is trash content. It is disgusting. You're, honestly, y'all are lucky I don't have any power in the moderation team. I would perma ban all of you. What the you fuck? You understand me? It's, it's like, brother, like, you need to understand Get the line. Out. We're giving we're giving every creator. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you got to put your foot down, though. Freedom to create without fear as long as they don't cross a heinous, disgusting, extreme line. I mean, like, when you really break it down, Twitch is doing the exact same thing. It's just that their line for what is heinous is going to be different than what your line is for being heinous. 
right? So, you know, to some people, they're going to take that and go, oh, they're becoming they're becoming just like Twitch. Oh, my God, I'm going to fucking come, you know? And yeah. they're all crossing it. And I mean it. Do you understand? I'm confused. I am confused. I am sorry, Mello, Give an inch, take a mile. Why? Why? No, you're right. I'm sorry, Melo. I swear to God, I didn't mean it, Melo. I'm sorry. confused. Like, I, I, I'm confused what the other options are. Let's kick bands. Where are you going to go? Twitch, listen, none of these yeah. streamers that fucking uh, sit here and say this shit, none, none of them will last even 20 minutes on Twitch. They can't go there. YouTube would ban their channels literally in 30 fucking seconds. Where are they going to go? They're going to go to Rumble? Rumble to the fucking newsletter. It looks like a fucking newsletter. I like reading a fucking oh, God, dude, that shit ugly and full. So I'm confused. Why are people taking it too far and ruining the opportunity of what we're trying to do here on Kick by making disgusting, heinous jokes that are clearly too far, even, even for humor? Yeah, Fuck. Man. You're right, bro. No, this is sticking into Aiden. No, I don't think it is. I think he. It might take him a couple of weeks for it to really sink in. Like all jokes aside, he might need a little while for it to like really pop into his head and go like, "Oh, now I understand." Wait, Jake Future, right. when you go on, when you go on Rumble, does it look confusing, Jake Future? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? What? I'm asking a question. Man, I don't like getting called this word. I don't know what to do. I'm fucked. Obviously, I'm sorry to anybody that uh, Jake said yes. Uh, no, nah, train. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I, what you're saying is correct. Oh but yeah. you also yeah, have to understand right, the, the issue that the chat is mm -hmm. also complaining about. Maybe they don't know how much each creator has been warned off stream. But for example, like yeah. they just want consistency with the bands. That's all. Well, I mean, if there's warnings off stream, then that would be consistent. Like you can't say, well, they just want consistency. But then when you give them context, like, well, these people might have had different levels of violations, but also different levels of warnings. You know, just keep the. Well, they just want to have the. It, it, transparency is probably a good thing, but this seems like a. This seems tough because the well, another problem is it's. I, the bigger problem is is I think train wrecks is like an adult. At the end of the day, I think that using the F slur in any context is like not okay unless you're driving. But it, is that he's like a more mature adult that likes uh, to be, in my opinion, over the line edgy, but he can do it in a more mature way relative to these other people. But the people who are as attracted to kick, it's kids. Kids are attracted to streaming on kick. They want to go there and they want to stream somewhere where they feel like they can get away with anything. Immature people are typically ones that uh, are more uh, opposed to rules. So you're not really going to get to like your mature guy like, let me go over to kick as much as it's going to be like your because a lot of mature people might be like, eh, I like to be funny, but let me tone down my humor a little bit. Because I, I, you know, I want to be a streamer. And it's not that big of a deal. Like, and I think a lot of people too are like, you know, I want to be sensitive to people's feelings. Um, it seems like it's all the kids are like, yeah, let's say fucking slurs. Like, we can do whatever we want. Like, that's the why they're going there more than anything else. They, they're young. They're hard headed. They don't want to change. Um, they think it's cool to like not uh, make any concessions to anybody ever, which is the dumbest thing in the entire world. Obviously, you know, there's more nuance than that. There are times when you don't, you when you stand your ground, but it generally just seems like it's a bunch of immature people going there. Oh, so, yeah, but kick, kick is never land exactly. But listen, listen, the chat, <clears throat> their perception of consistency, and so you're really not going to be able to, and with a, with a you know a childish creator pool comes a more childish audience as well. And so that's what's happening. Like, you're not going to be able to get through to them. You can't get, like give them a reasonable take and they'll go, oh, okay. Like It's not really going to happen. Consistency will never be accurate mm, okay. because they don't possess the information that moderation has. Now, if you want, if you want what we can do, which I promise you streamers will not be happy with this because streamers will want a level of privacy. But if you want, I'll talk to Eddie about releasing some sort of Twitter account that's official that announces every single log of a fucking warning or a ban that a streamer receives. And I no. promise you, none of these streamers are going to be very happy because it's going to put a spotlight on a lot of mistakes, right? That I That's a good point. I believe people should have a chance to correct, but instead, no one's going to have a chance to correct shit, and they're all going to be crucified instantly for something that they may have not meant. You yeah. understand? Yeah, I agree. So the chat can't understand consistency because they don't know. Like, yeah, I agree, but... These streamers that okay. are, you know, are your friends or part of your communities, they're not being consistent or honest and say, yo, yeah, you know what? This guy did come in my chat four fucking times in the last week and told me to chill the fuck out, and I still didn't because I'm so insecure for viewership that I decided to say stupid shit and get the approval of a bunch of people that don't actually care about me. Damn, kind of based. Yeah, that's what I did. That's literally what I did, Trent. Being honest, the crazy part is I'm not even referring to you. So the fact that you're taking this <laughs> as me talking about you, I mean, it shows a lot. I, mean, I, I guess that's that, that, that's a good progression you're making. But I'm not even talking about you. I think there's much worse. I don't want to start Damn. just like less. It is a good pitch. I never considered that. But like, yeah, if your solution is I want transparency, um, and it needs to be widespread available so we stop these conversations. It can't be just transparency of like, oh, my friend got banned 
um, what's where, like, how come but I'm not getting transparency? No, because then you're playing favoritism towards Aiden, right? And that's one of their problems is favoritism. So what do you do? You create a public channel. It's very easy for everybody to say to Tw- see Twitter, uh, is that, that place. And then you could follow that. And anytime someone gets a warning, it's like, oh, this person said like, I've f- something e- egregious. Apparently we talked to him about this. This is what he said. This is one warning out of such and such. Here's the breakdown of like the different warnings we gave him, et cetera, et cetera. And that makes the the, the streamer is going to potentially get a backlash. But then also the platform is going to be like, oh, what the fuck is this? So yeah, I mean, that would that would be the the, the outcome, no? Sure, evils with greater ones, but there are the much sense. bigger problems and worse problems. And that's sad to say because the jokes you were making are fucking terrible. I know. So we need to do a full cleanup. Like it's the, brother, like, like I said, I think <laughs> the line that we have is like relatively good. I don't know why people are taking that line and perverting it to something disgusting. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was definitely interesting. I'll say that. Terrible stuff.